What's up guys, this is Zach from A More Complete Beast and this is episode four of my 10 week cut, A More Complete Beast Challenge. If you followed along for some time now, you know all about what this 10 week cut is about, what I am trying to accomplish throughout this 10 week series. If this is your first time watching this video, I highly suggest that you check out video one. I'm gonna link a card right here. It's a quick introduction to let you know who I am, why I'm on this channel, and what I am trying to accomplish over these 10 weeks. As you saw in the intro, I am just a little bit over eight pounds down in four weeks of this cut. If you are new to this channel completely and you are wondering what is a more complete beast, I'm gonna link another card right here. This is our channel intro video. This gives you a deeper dive of what it means to become a more complete beast. This 10 week series as a whole is just a first hand look of the things that I am stepping into in order to level myself up across the whole playing field of being a more complete beast. That's getting my fitness in check, that's increasing my business acumen, and that's increasing my financial leverage by trying to invest into real estate. And that's what this episode is all about. Episode four is all about about increasing my financial leverage and how I'm trying to get into real estate. Again, I'm gonna link another card right here. If you haven't seen the video of our entry level ways of how to get into real estate investing, I highly suggest you watch that. Why do I suggest you watch that? Because I watched it and I'm implementing the principles that I watched in that video in this 10 week series in real life. Let's get into the video. When it go up, ain't got no other plans. You don't need to understand. Ay, we on know the time. You don't need to understand. Ay, you just show them how to do it when you don't know what to say. Tell me how you plan to win if you plan to play the shit. Moving fast, already gone. Yeah, but you bringing me back. Try to double cross me, dog. Just let me relax. Stop assuming what we doing. Who knew I would make it this far? They hated, they never believed me. Yeah, I would never drop the ball. I know I make it look easy. Yeah, Mayweather with the defense. I don't care what a critic got to say. I got him picking up the pieces. Fuck it up. Out of me, you really playing with your life. I'm about to come and run it all back. I'm the new era, about to snap back. You ain't fitting for it, cause you all cap like. Hold up, I shoot my shot. Wait, hold up. I'm really about to run this. Go up. You know it's all net when it go up. Ain't got no other plans. You don't move in. What we doing? How am I trying to get into real estate during this 10 week series? We talk a lot about this on our channel. So if you're interested in learning more about real estate, check out our channel, find a video that you're interested in relating to real estate. That being said, I do not want to put up my own capital right now for a rental property, but I still want some financial leverage in my life in regard to real estate. 
Because of that, I'm implementing one of the strategies that was shown in the video from the card that I linked earlier. I'll link it again right here. I am partnering with an investor. I am connecting a buyer and a seller and helping to quarterback the entire process of getting into a rental property so that the investor can make money and it is less stress for him and he is more hands off and I can make money as I dip my toes into the real estate process. Not only does this allow me to make a little bit of money, but this also allows me to get paid to learn, which is a pretty good trade-off. I'm there with the realtor, I'm creating relationships with the realtor, I'm going to take a look at rental properties so I know what that process is like. I'm there communicating with the mortgage company so I know what that looks like. I'm there for the home inspection so now I know what that looks like. I can ask questions about the closing and I can be involved in the closing process so now I know what that's like. And then I'll also be in charge of managing the property. So now I'll have experience stepping into a managing tenants so that whenever I do buy my own rental property, I have all of this experience already in the bank that I got paid to learn. This is a win-win situation for the investor, but also for me as well, with me not putting up any capital and with the investor not having any stress. Just pulled into property number one we're looking at today. It is a triplex. It looks pretty good from the outside right now, but we are going to jump inside and take a look. I just got back from looking at those two rental properties. It was definitely a good visit. The first rental property was huge. It was a three unit. Um, it was completely vacant, which could be a good thing, but could also be a bad thing. It had some renovations, but the whole place wasn't entirely renovated. And there was definitely some things that could need fixed. And there were a few things that I noticed that probably weren't gonna look great on a home inspection and were definitely going to be needed to be taken care of before some tenants got in there. It was also just a pretty weird layout um, about how each tenant got to each unit and which doors led where, but that's pretty much par for the course for those types of houses in the area that we are in. But the second unit looked fantastic. Um, the bottom unit had tenants in it. There was definitely some smoke. There was a pet in there. So those are red flags, but if those are paying tenants and you can get more money out of the rents from there, I think that's, not a bad case to be in right now. Um, it was a duplex, the top unit was completely renovated. It looked super clean. Um, it looked great actually. Right now the second property that we looked at, the two unit, the duplex, is definitely winning right now in the race of which property that we are going to jump on. The next step is to get the home inspection, put in an offer, get the home inspection, take a deeper dive at the bones and see if this is something that we're actually going to want to dive in. Guys, if you're enjoying this content so far, if you're getting something out of this, if you like watching the lifting, if that's entertaining, if you're learning things about business that you didn't know before, I highly suggest that you like this video and then subscribe to the channel. We are posting content all the time that can be impactful into the things that you are stepping into as you are trying to improve your life, as you are trying to become a more complete beast. So if that's you, Hit the subscribe button, follow us along, watch this channel evolve into what it can become.
Guys, that's episode four. We took a look at my training. We took a look at how I'm doing cardio over at Ground Zero, how I'm getting into some jujitsu. We took a look at the real estate. We took a look at some rental properties that I'm trying to get into with the investor I'm working at. You know, the strategy that I'm using to try to get into real estate as this is an entry level play for me. Also saw an update on the cut. I am continuing to make progress. I'm a few pounds down again, 8.2 in total over these four weeks. Next week episode, episode five, gets back into the training. Next, we're gonna take a look at nutrition. I've posted nutrition in some videos and I've gotten some questions of why I eat the way I do. Um, is it necessary? and I've just been getting a lot of questions about my nutrition. So this next episode, we're gonna take a deeper dive into nutrition, as well as giving you an update on the cut, showing you guys some training, showing you guys some jujitsu, and we're just gonna learn a little bit more about my approach to nutrition and how I'm tackling this cut. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you press like, and again, subscribe. We are committed to putting out good content. We are committed to putting out content that are gonna help improve your life and fitness, that are gonna help improve your business acumen. It's gonna help increase your financial leverage across the board. By stepping into and improving your life in all three of these categories, you can become a more complete beast. Peace.